All right, everyone. So I was just wandering around out here. Now that may that may be a trap. Don't damage anything? I don't like damaging things. You know, it's definitely an AFK fishing farm. Ooh, by Shabanazi. You know, I remember when Shabanazi was online. He was online all the time. Okay, this person may be more related to me than I think. Xbomber. That's the username of an admin who f also follows me, but is mainly known for being an admin and close friend of Spike Viper. So today we're going to take a look at two bases and some people that we just don't know a lot about. Either they didn't interact with people on the server, or if they did, their impact was generally completely forgotten. Hey, what's up everyone? Lord Pasta here, and it's not every day that you come across a base on Sim PvP with an undefined age and an undefined creator. And that's exactly what I have done a few days ago on Sim PvP when I came across this random glass block in the middle of what appears to be nowhere. Now, sadly, the base beneath is not very vast in nature. But its creator, on the other hand, may in fact be. You see, this is a base built by Lewis underscore CK, a player who has played long enough to wind up on the player statistics table on the Sim PvP wiki, and also a player with a name that seems vaguely familiar to myself. Who could this person be? Upon slash aging them correctly, one finds that they first logged on in the year 2012, when the server was extremely popular, and played for six years until they last logged on in 2018. Signs in the base indicate that he planned to move on after this base. And further inspection of the base reveals that it was later discovered by the group of players who surrounded themselves around the Arma. Chinese and Shabanazi, a player who I recognize and suspect may be more connected to me than I may think, although that is pure conjecture and is probably not true at all, as there is a show uh, from the 80s called X-Bomber that both of the people who I think are connected may have actually watched, so I mean... Anyways, there really isn't that much to talk about in result to Louis CK for the plain and simple reason that if you search his name on the wiki, all that is revealed is that page from the statistics table. And if you search his name on the forums, well, you do get one thing, but that would be an image of a boxing match, which I don't know how that's at all related to sim PvP, but you know, whatever, okay. Like many things on Sim PvP, we just don't know. Upon asking many players who were online at the time about Lewis CK, I got many mixed responses. Many people seem to remember him, like I surprisingly do. And one person, I believe Ostrich, suggested that he was involved in some type of grief. Upon later questioning, it was revealed that he never really associated with anybody, and he never really talked in chat. Um, this is what I'm dubbing Epic Castles, <laughs> I guess, in a sense. Um, and it's just this series of builds that I found out here, just in the random wilderness, um, part of me just doing some exploring on my own. Now, in addition to mystery people, there are also mystery places on Sim PvP, and the build dubbed Epic Castles by myself is one of those such things. It has been visited by Eukaryon, and also, I believe, Ostrich at one point. But nobody really knows who built it, 
or if it was even built by one singular group of people. My working theory includes the idea that this was initially a small, old base that was added to by other unrelated groups of people, and over time, other builds that they made nearby were connected to each other via long roads and rail systems, as you can see here in the footage. I think this because of the long distances between different clusters of builds and the differing styles of each build, as well as the different levels of complexity of each build. The base includes farms of all different sizes, however the existence of a mob farm remains to be seen at the place. The builders seemed more focused on aesthetics rather than functionality. This is true about all the different locations. Overall, the base is humongous in scale. If you were to measure it from one end to the other, I guarantee you it would be larger than a Scarus in size. However, most of its builds are located in small districts, you could say, with differing styles. However, in spite of its massive scale, its origins remain a mystery still, with only a few player names being exposed within the build at all, and a name for the overall build being absent entirely. A player with the name of Freya is referenced in a brewing hut area of the base, whether or not this represents an actual IGN or a person's nickname in real life or something other than that remains still a mystery. But there are a few other actual usernames that can be seen in other places of the base, most notably in the hotel-like structure. The Sinkin Jungle Chambers of Sinkin JCP Man. This player first joined on April 5th, 2013. However, now if you search their name on the server, the server claims that they never even played. The Oak Room of Merry Fistmas. They first joined on April 6th and were last online six years ago. This fellow, Trazic, joined on the 21st of May and also was last online six years ago, if you search his age nowadays. I mean, look, I'm not exactly a math whiz, but I can tell you that the date between this recording, which was 11th of June, 2K18, and the 21st of May, 2014, was only four years, one month, and 21 days. So look, as far as that's concerned, honestly, this person could still be playing on the server today. I mean, I don't really think that the slash age works at all, really. But it does deepen the mystery. At the end of the day, the origin of the city is probably along similar lines to that of Arcania. Just a group of IRL friends who wanted to build a city just for themselves and didn't really want to interact with any of the outside server members. But it does serve to give us a little bit of intrigue in the otherwise slightly boring sim PvP experience. Anyways, I've been Laura Pasta and I hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye. Uh, 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 uh,